Hello YouTube, it's me B3 back another kicking action figure review or re-review should I say. This is the Avengers Sword Spike Thor figure from Hasbro with three and three quarter inch figure. This was about the time when the three and three quarter inch lines started sucking hard. <laughs> but I, uh, I I wanted a three and three quarter inch movie Thor and I liked the helmeted one so I picked this guy up. I believe I got him on sale anyway so that's good. Uh, but that was a while ago back in Oh my gosh, that had to be like four years ago, right? Jeez. Wow. So yeah, Sword Spike Thor. He's a neat little figure. Detail and paint-wise, he's actually pretty awesome. But uh, articulation-wise, he's not the best. And I have a couple Marvel Universe Thors that I'd uh, rather keep. So I'm going to keep my Marvel Universe Thors and get rid of my Avengers Thors. Yeah, so I'll be selling this guy to the morrow. Yes, sir -y. Take him to the comic shop, see if they'll take him. If not, I will, uh, I will sell this mofo. <laughs> I'll give him the cha-ching on eBay online or something. But, uh, yeah, you know, let's zoom out a little. I just wanted to do a review of this guy before I got rid of him. Faux good. Uh, little floor. He's, uh, pretty neat. I'm gonna get the articulation out of the way. That's really the disappointing part of this figure. You got side to side on the head. Really no up and down. Uh, but you do have up and down on the arms, forward and back. Uh, no bicep swivel, that's a problem. I really wish he had a bicep swivel. The arms would have been much better with that. You got an elbow bend. No wrist swivel either. You know, that's two key joints missing from the arms. Nothing on the abs. Nothing on the waist. You know, you see what I mean? Uh, not very good. You can move, you can like rotate this joint in here to get the legs to go in and out, forward and back, you know, all kinds of directions and stuff. Uh, he's got a single knee bend. Not bad. Uh, you know, you got that swivel right there. Uh, and really nothing in the foot either, which really sucks. So his articulation's almost non-existent. Uh, but detail and paint actually looks really good. He's got a lot of great paint on him. Uh, I like the head sculpt. I love the helmet. It looks really nice. Love this cape. How it looks like it's flowing in the breeze. Big cape. Really cool. Even painted under the cape a lot. That's nice. Uh, I like uh, the detail on the arms and everything. His armor. He looks good. Like, just standing there, he looks good, but if, if you like to mess around and pose with your stuff like I do, uh, he's not that useful, sadly. Now, uh, he does come with his hammer. His hammer. Yeah, uh, this is just a regular hammer accessory. It falls down in his hand like that a little. I'd prefer him to be able to hold it like this. I could probably hot water his hand to be tighter, but yeah, you know, what's the point? An open hand is pretty cool for a, a lightning thing or whatever. Then he comes with this kind of kiddish accessory. I'd rather just give us more articulation and less of this stuff. Launches a missile. There's a button right here. Bada bing, bada boom. Ayy. Uh, that's that. He's got this cool Asgardian blade on it though. That's pretty neat. But, you know, eh. I don't really care for this. This has been in storage. <laughs> just waiting for the day I would Toss this guy aside. Well, not toss him aside. Actually, I love and treasure each one of my figures. Uh, just saying goodbye to even something like this is rough. Yeah, you know, it's that uh, <laughs> it's that collector mindset. You never know. Uh, but yeah, he's pretty uh, he's pretty cool. He's pretty cool. He's a cool little guy. Just not poseable really at all. Honestly, you can have like his arms out, and that's really all you can do with him. To be totally honest. Ah, oh, sadly, yeah. But now let's get into some size comparisons. First up, here's our sword, Spike Thor, with some other three and three quarter inch Marvel figures. Here on the left, another one from the Avengers line, the Mark VII Iron Man. Also not really posable at all much. And then here on the right, a much better figure, the Marvel Universe Future Foundation Spider-Man. Pretty cool figure. Uh, yeah, the Marvel Universe were much better, and they've kind of brought Marvel Universe back, just under like a three and three quarter inch Marvel Legends title, but they still don't have as much articulation as Iron Man 2 and Marvel Universe figures did. So I'm I'm mostly out of the three and three quarter inch collecting game, honestly. Uh, I'd show you a lot more three and three quarter inch Marvel stuff, but they're all kind of boxed up because I'm not displaying them anymore. Luckily, I still have my three and three quarter inch Power Ranger figures out. Here on the left, Decker from Power Rangers, Samurai, Super Samurai. And here on the right, the Ultra Metallic Force Mega Force Red figure. <laughs> Pretty cool. Uh, you know, I think he skills fine with them, I guess. And lastly, here's Thor with a imported three and three quarter inch figure, the SIC Common Rider Hibiki. 
So what are my final thoughts on the Marvel Hasbro 3 and 3 quarter inch Sword Spike Thor from the Avengers line? Well, he's actually not a bad little figure. If you want a 3 and 3 quarter inch Avengers Thor, I'd go for this one, uh, mostly just for the awesome helmet and cape. Uh, he's got good paint. Uh, he seems to scale fine with other 3 and 3 quarter inch figures. Uh, he has a regular accessory, so you don't have to display him without the hammer or with his dumb giant accessory. So, you know, that's nice. Uh, the thing is just the posability. If you have them all standing vanilla to, like, save room, that's cool. But if you want all your figures posed up, like you want a cool team shot, this, this is pretty much the amount of posability you get out of this guy. Just looking at his hammer like this. Uh... So yeah, that's it. Thank you all very much for your support. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the cool links in the description below, Facebook, Twitter, etc. And I'll see you all later.